G'day YouTube, you've seen the video of my Lone Star Anchor Winch installation. This chain guard came with the Lone Star kit and I thought I'd do a video separately of putting the chain guard onto the chain. There's an easy way and a hard way to do anything and I'll look at the easy way. I think I found it and I thought that might be of interest to anyone else who wants to put one on. Now first of all you need something to put on the end of the chain to help feed it through. You could use a bit of dowel or something like that to fill a hole in it and zip tie it to the chain. But I bought a stainless steel anchor swivel because I thought that was a good idea given I had a flower anchor. I attached that first so that I can use that as something to grip and push through the chain card. When you get the chain guard, it's all flattened and rolled up in a coil to make it a smaller package. So what you need to do is to unroll it and run it through your hands, forcing the two flattened corners together so that it becomes more round. That'll make the whole job easier as we go on. So run the whole chain guard through your hands, making it round. Now the other thing to do is just to make sure it's not going to unravel. Any source of flame, cigarette lighter will do and same as you would any nylon rope, just melt the ends and put a bit of sliver on your fingers and force them together so that they won't unravel. And just to be absolutely clear, I'm not talking about closing up the hole in the end, just sealing the edges of it. You know those Chinese finger puzzles we used to play with when we were a kid? You get a couple of kids stick their finger in each end of it and try to pull it out and the harder you pull the tighter it gets. Well this chain guard is just like that. If you pull on it, it gets smaller. If you push it together, it gets bigger. So just like a Chinese finger puzzle, you've got to push it together to make it bigger so you can get things through. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm pushing the chain guard onto the chain rather than trying to pull it onto the chain. By pushing it onto the chain I expand it, make it larger diameter, it slips on really easily and you just keep working your way down the chain pushing more of it on. Yeah I know it sounds pretty tedious but it really doesn't take all that long. If I was doing it for a living I'd be wanting to find an easier and quicker way but just doing a one-off every now and then this works just fine. Once I'd stretched the chain guard out on the chain and had it a nice snug fit, I had the length established and I cut the chain guard to length. I cut it a metre short of the length of the chain and the reason for that is that the chain guard softens the sound considerably as the chain comes over the bow roller. By cutting it a bit short, you've got a metre of chain that makes a hell of a rattle and it's a good warning, an audible warning that your anchor is about to come up. So as soon as you hear that rattle, take your finger off the anchor switch and then just blip it until your anchor's uh, stowed. Once we've got it on the chain, I zip tied the end nearest the rope, at the end of the chain nearest the rope, I zip tied the chain guard onto that so that it wouldn't move. And then I stretched the chain guard out along the chain to reduce its diameter and increase its length. And now we're almost done. I finished it off by zip tying the chain guard to the chain at intervals of about half a metre. And it's not shown in the video, but don't forget to trim the tag ends off the zip ties. And that's all there is to it. I reckon they're a good idea. They certainly reduce the noise of the chain a lot. One thing I will say though against them is that they collect a lot of sand and that comes up with it and gets deposited in your anchor well so you've got to wash that out pretty thoroughly. Other than that, great idea. Yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I do hope it's given you a couple of clues on installing and using a chain guard. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe for more. Until next time, good fishing.